आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव बी पी सी एल हैज एम्बार्क ऑन दिस वेरी रिमार्केबल जर्नी ऑफ इन्वाइटिंग द स्टूडेंट्स टू दी रिफाइनरी एट माहौल टू गिव दम ए ग्लिम्स ऑफ वॉट रिफाइनिंग बिजनेस इज अबाउट हाउ द रिफाइनिंग बिजनेस इज फ्यूलिंग द कंट्री द इकोनॉमी we are able to uh, see actually what is the scale of operations in industries like when we read about them in uh, our books we just read about the tank diameters etc but by coming here today and having this opportunity to actually witness them live we are really intrigued by that experience so before coming here uh, we were just having some like uh, theoretical knowledge but after coming here now we can relate theoretical knowledge with the applications of it like the cell into feet exchanger refillation column and the dryers and the scrubbers so how are they operating how can we operate in the actual in the plant my take from the entire visit is something i can completely relate academically i believe chemical engineers these days are more of focus on what we say the concept of ist that is inherently safer designs which focus on the approach of can't rather than don't and i could see the entire plant is based on that i think safety wise this is one of the best experiences i could get to really see isd being applied in the plant say the color coding or say the control rooms which are positive pressure based so i think a lot of safety ways take away which is really important for this generation of chemical engineers is what is my main take away from the entire visit we got to know about the how how we can operate distillation columns what are the various types of the distillation column like normal distillation column vacuum distillation column and uh, how can we generate the powers from the gas turbines we are students we do not get such kind of exposure to the industry on a daily basis so such tours are great help when we talk about exposure to the industry and it is very important for practical knowledge community wise i could just see uh, roaming around the entire plant the plant works in such a silent zone uh, we work in our labs and they are in so silent compared to the very small small scale the equipments are working on compared to this larger scale i think that is doing way good environmentally community wise also there is a lot of village area around and they are taking all all proper measures for that so i would say it's a proper blend of providing uh, the first class technology the latest technology with considering sustainability and proper development considering the environmental impacts and all not every day the students can come to visit such a large factory as it is during their curriculum so we have taken that extra step to bring the students into the refinery give them a brief outline of what we are doing here and introduce them to the basics of petroleum refining the processes the specifications and introduce them to certain safety practices which will help them to develop as engineers it has been a wonderful experience so far for us as young chemical engineers who are stepping into industry this kind of exposure to huge uh, distillation columns pipelines heat exchangers and various other separation processes that we have seen here today uh, i think it will be handy for us as we take up uh, industry roles uh, in our near future so far this year we have covered almost around 500 students in around uh, various batches and then we will be continuing to do this as we go